What's up, y'all? It's Southern Curl Tara here with a little therapy for your hair. Tonight, I am showing you guys how I put on the Triangle Veil Net. This is a follow-up to a couple of my videos where I said I don't sleep with a buff or a pineapple to preserve my curls. So in the last video, I was using the Triangle um, cotton net and it is my least preferred but I had one on hand so I stuck it in my travel bag and tonight I'm actually putting on my triangle net um, in order to preserve my curls you can see that my hair um, is styled but it's not uh, fluffed out and I still have my root clips in because it's just a little bit damp so it's nice that this net is nice and thin so it'll let the hair continue to dry so let me show you how so, 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 so. Let me show you how to put it on. So, just like with, so, 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 just like with the cotton triangle net, the way you get started is that you put the two ends up top and with just one end down pointing towards you. And um, even if you have root clips in your hair, you're still going to lean forward straight into the middle here, just like if you were going to plop. So you're just going to gather your hair towards the center and guide it down like so. And then you're going to pull those two pieces all the way around, bring it down past your ears, and begin to tie it just like you're going to tie your shoelaces. Then you're going to pull that middle section towards your nose and hang on to it um, as snugly as you can while you do a little pull to the other two pieces. Again, just like you're tying your shoelaces. And at this point, you should be able to pretty carefully flip. Now you wanna make sure that um, <laughs> this guy's kinda of slippery, so you wanna make sure that this is down near the nape of your neck, and then flip. Okay, so I have it here over my head. I have the middle section pulled down. I have uh, the beginning of a shoelace tie here. So I'm just gonna tie that one the rest of the way nice and snug, like so. And then um, you could take that center one. You could take that center one and you can tie it if you like. Um, you're probably wondering, okay, so what do you do about <laughs> this stuff happening here? Depending on, depending on how um, it's sitting, sometimes I'm able to tie these ends um, into one of these. So just again, kind of carefully, just depending on how much fabric you have to work with, you can just tie a little, tie a little section like that. And that works pretty well. Tonight, Lady Luck is in my favor, at least with that guy. Poke in any curls that might be sticking out as best you can and grab one of the other sections here and give it a little give it a little pull now the other thing that I like to do when I'm wearing this sometimes I'll use um, root clips up there <coughs> So sometimes I'll use root clips up there, but usually I just um, try to tie it just like I did. Because I'm trying to do this on camera, I think I'm losing more pieces than normal. <laughs> but it's nice and snug down around the base of um, uh, the base of my hair. So I just stick a couple root clips right here um, above my ears, and then I usually stick one back here and one back here. They're not in the way when I sleep. They're totally fine. I've not had them poke me or be uncomfortable at all. So I'm gonna go grab some root clips and I'll be right back. So here you can just take a root clip on each side of your ear and secure that so it doesn't slide off in your sleep and just do the same thing around the back there. Make sure that it's not in your way. Oops. And just secure the last one down there and then you're good to go.